early. Alright, so uh, for Bearbane, it is going to be Cosmic versus Cad, and then Cad versus Senju. Anyhow, before we get too much into it, let's introduce the player on the bottom, on the top left. Sorry, of Golden Hour, we have playing for the Ancient Ones. It is Opfi in Blue Plains Zerg. Bottom right, and the Myth of Legend it is Bear Master representing Big Pam. And of course, it's not. God damn. I am symboling stuff. But I don't care. Bad Master going for a standard opener. Nothing built on the other side of the map, as Terran usually do. And oh my god, he's. Like we look, it looks like we're gonna have a. Are we gonna have a similar game to what we had last time? Kind of afraid now. We'll have this. For the time being, nothing too crazy is happening on either side of the map. Which leaves us time to talk about the weather and all that kind of stuff. Especially especially ZVP, ZVTs because I feel that the very slow until the first week breaks out. So, are you finding yourself um, in, the, in the control of this event? Um, praying to God that I never did this in the first place because I'm <laughs> panicking and silently worried that I fucked this all up. Uh, you know, I never really realized just how much fearing something would make it more likely to happen. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm so afraid of fucking this up. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a complete fucking disaster. <laughs> Don't worry, so far I think it's going fine. From my glorious experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far, there's always a chance. <laughs> Does this CC my name is placed? Uh, good question. I was kind I of wondering a, oh, myself. Because I've seen some, to the left. some goddamn maps have their decal a little bit to the right or to the left, so it's always hard to tell from the other one, but it does seem that the distance from the resting geyser is a little bit. Yeah, 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 it's completely misplaced. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Are we going down? Some excellent micro gonna be coming out. We're gonna see some excellent micro out of our Zerg player. We're gonna keep uh, all of those things alive against that Reaper. Back mm -hmm. for the time being, deny a little bit of the scout. Yeah, was... That drone is double O drone. Oh, I managed to sneak up a, a hatchery. Good job for him. Um, and TVT may be my favorite matchup, but TVZ is still probably really fun to watch. Um, and all and all TVTs I've seen, uh, the double low ground barracks into, uh, I think it was triple Reaper. Oh yeah, that's a classic. No, 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 classic's a different pro. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the creep tumor, but isn't gonna be able to get. Alrighty. Creep tumor goes, goes down. The Reaper really has not achieved much. As you were saying, a uh, very good micro from Obvi, keeping everything alive against this. Uh, the two Bernicas are going to join up with the Reaper. I don't think they should be attacking so fast, because we still have two in production. And it's gonna be. Yeah, nice map control oh. from the Zerg though. Trying to keep track of everything in the meantime. Very nicely done. And honestly, kind of. I slit. Uh, oh, wow, okay, yeah. I favored the. Without the block, I favored this position for a Bear Master. Supply block like the motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, it, God. It was not too intense, but we still have some, some very na nasty tech going up. Look, man, this would be a problem. Oh, if we kept sniping the tumor, he misses though, and he's gonna lose every single bird. Oh, oh, oh. oh god, this is not good. Oh. Almost perfect defense from that. Zerg. Zero loss. Oh, yeah, that units. guy. Wait, 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 hold on. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. He lost no Zerglings, no drones in within the whole game, even the Overload survived. And he's still surviving. Secret Feral? 
<laughs> or like a secret Santa, but only your worst nightmare. Yeah. Secret Grandpa's. When she comes out, it's not scouted, so this is the first time that uh, Obvi is gonna take some damage. But we also have an insane spread of overlords. Complete map dominance from Obvi. No fear whatsoever into this man. Even a, a scouting circling on the third. This guy is everywhere. Four more burning cars. We're gonna go back. Again, the division from Obvi sees all. And she gets counted as well. The Queens are, and the Queens are there to react against the, the burning cars, but it's not the main threat. The main threat is coming cloaking to me. We don't have any detection whatsoever. No spores over here. But we do have a uh, over. Oh, but we do have a layer, so. Overseers are easy to produce, yes, but at least this guy is not going to win with zero losses. Yeah, that would have been really young. <laughs> Finally, we see some uh, some losses in the form of drones from our Zerg player who's struggling to get some. Oh my god! I thought he. That's had... nice! He had everything in the bag, but so far this bench dealt way too much damage for what he was supposed to do. Six kills. It was just a six kill banshee. Six kill banshee plus the four from, from the Hellions, and that's a very nice tally from our, our Terran player who was first struggling to, to find some damage and now he managed to actually not not just even the scores but uh, turn is ahead in economy which is not only uncommon but an insanely good position for turn and with stim finished at or is stim finished finished uh we got i bet shields on the way we got more medipacks we got more tanks this is going to be a pretty uh scary push out of bear master yeah, we'll hit uh, a tiny bit later because we are struggling to take a third. After all, uh, Zerg had all the map control in the world until a few minutes ago. So, the push from Bear Master, it, it's not going to be the fastest one, but as you were saying, yeah, it will hit like a truck. We already have lots of production being added and the production from Bear Master is going to skyrocket. Plus one, plus one, about to finish and we're moving out. I don't think this... plus two melee and plus one character. Uh, Bailing speed on the way. A, a, let's kill you kind of push or let's deal damage. It's mostly about clearing over the world, clearing the Asia, preparing for the Yeah. Alright, clearing a little sector over here, gonna make sure that uh, our secret Grampus doesn't um, manage to serral his way into dominating. <laughs> now we do have. Um, Roly Poly Banes, which have been nerfed, yes, but they're still very good against the bio. We need some hot pickups from this turn, or... Oh, hmm, Master is playing very conservative. He's not scared of uh, pulling off his, his attack. He knows that he just needs to keep Zerg scared. Creep contained. I'm just like... Right, go ahead. Yeah, just containing the creep is fine and all. Not taking losses is already a win in of itself. And Fester's on the way, so this push might not hit it as much like a truck. I sec auto truck. Oh. Wait, high sec up. Uh yeah, the ring uh -huh. of <laughs> Is that a mistake? <laughs> Was that supposed to be plus two armor? Uh maybe? I mean, I mean, this guy went. Uh, this guy looked at uh, Beyond's plus three armor. Was like, I can do one better. <laughs> I mean, gonna clean up another Overlord. We don't have a single turret yet, so <laughs> I don't think that's the that the thing that uh, Masaru is going for. Hopefully, is now supply block because of the Viking. Very good unit indeed in, in this kind of match. Oh, 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 as we saw. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that was maybe not the could have gone worse. That was, yeah. Now, oh my God, that was a beautiful hold out of uh, Air Master. Yeah, I I caught the tail end of it, but it was still impressive. Just then, as if he's dying for that insane mass of Marines. And these two, oh, two queens cut off creep. Oh, that is huge. Oh my god, these marines are so... Uh, I think Obvia had over here. 
a very good early game. He's really, uh, really good when it comes to managing just one uh, one small set of units. But as soon as the game escalated, <gasps> did you see the queen? Did you see the queen placing six tumors? <laughs> This queen, this queen was just sitting there building every creep tumor known to man and kind. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> fungal a bunch of these marines. He's gonna miss the forward bunch of them. So, well, fungal. Oh, but they're not really changing the fungals. We saw a few miss here and there, and this Marines is simply pushing through. You have energy, come on! Well, thankfully, you do have. Okay, these. Give it a amount of zones. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's stupid enough that it's. That is, uh, that is a pretty rough loss for Bearmaster, but behind this, I mean, he's got Marauders, he's got Marines, he's got. Still, this drop on the side that is. Just waiting to dive into this. Oh, uh, Bearmaster was not paying attention to this guy. Finally picks them up. Brings them to the main. Very uh, ballsy move. I like it, to be absolutely fair. Yeah, you know, I, I, I... Please don't lose them to a spore. At least they drop. Yeah. This is so far... I really like this position for Bearmaster. A huge bank from Moby. I did not know this is really struggling to um, to balance his production while defending this arrest from Bearmaster. Okay, very conservative play from Bearmaster. The same push as before, just to force the Marine to try and pick up on the on the capture while the main force remains dead and the tanks. The really. I really prefer this particular position because there's no infestors to really support this Ling Bane. So he's got there. He's infinitely going to be taking damage no matter how hard he pushes. Yeah. And um, just retreat to the tanks. But with ultras on the way, I mean, they don't. I don't think they have. Uh, um. No, they do not have the armor. They also have just plus one armor yeah. still against the plus two of Terran, and Terran is up, uh, up ahead in in research in tech and upgrade so they won't be as tanky especially against marines uh this from by of the games will not be like much damage this banshee actually it's holding off this is basically alone that is the world's best banshee you want that banshee in your army <laughs> wait did those those two ultras got scouted so bear master knows what's coming to him yeah, and he we... places a hatchery right in front of two marines. <laughs> <laughs> Still damaging it. <laughs> Wastes a few banelings there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It yeah, could be not... worse. Two tanks are going to be over here, going to unsiege and then walk back and home. Both player moving clockwise into the map. Uh, sorry, counterclockwise oh, yep. into the map. And they will miss each other's army, but... Problem is, uh, Zerg has lots of DPS. We have um, adrenal glands now. We do have the Clanchon Fortress there, though. And that has high oh, set auto-tracking. Yeah, that is brilliant. <laughs> it All of a sudden, that early high sec auto-tracking was brilliant. Now, the main base cannot be, be cracked by ultras. We have way too many marauders and a um, uh, bunker, but with enough forces, you can barely enough to take it. Oh, this is a sandwich. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. who's gonna win? Oh my god, that is gonna be you. <laughs> now, finally, the tanks do demolish the, the ultras. Nice fungal to try and retreat, but we have nothing to retreat this army from. Uh, Obvi lost basically his whole army. He can rebuild fast, sure. Um, usually, Zerg's rebuild uh, remax faster than Terran, but. Let's keep in mind that both players do not have the ability to do max out. And obviously. Yeah, and. Really Our Master is massively up in army supply, which is not somewhere you want to be as a, uh, as a Zerg. Nice push. And plus three is about to kick in. And just run from the. Uh, from the game. Maybe find loses a few Marines here and there. 
That's still a good catch mm -hmm. from Bellmaster, right. forcing his opponent to do once more a uh, five base scenario against four, which is kinda even for her. Now, both main bases are going to go out very soon. Oh, we're just. Uh... Oh, greater. Sp oh, we're gonna try to force a late game. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I would have loved to see a plan oh. here. Still, the army uh, on the. Close enough. All right, liberate oh, those tanks really. So those tanks, are, uh, the, um, oh yeah, those are gonna, those uh, ultras are gonna fall off really hard. Avi now down in supply, massively in army. So that. A push uh, from I mean, if from Bear Master... I mean, it would be decisive uh, enough to clear at least two bases. I'm, I'm fairly convinced, but. Let's also remember that now that uh, Zerg is almost catching up in uh, in upgrades, Turn is already a plus three, so there's no getting better from uh, than this. And Zerg is finally adding the uh, the correct units uh, with high tech and all that. So we have uh, all the trust for, for for dealing with most of the bio, and we also have Corruptor. Yeah, this is a scary composition to fight against this. I think if um, Bearmaster scouts this, it will need uh, to get. It'll need to drop a. Oh, he already has a Ghost Academy. Yeah, why, why are we not using the Ghost Academy? Where I have is no it, idea. Like? But this this hatchery is going to finish up, allowing Bearmaster to snipe the heck out of it. We're going to try to engage into it. Oh no! No! Oh! No anti air means that this. Oh my god, that oh, was rough. Every single corruptor in the brood low. That's not. I'm brood low. I think they're very good in most scenarios, but if you're lacking so much anti air, you needed need infestors. Needed infestors. These liberators are going to zone out everything else, and all of a sudden, those brood lords are starting to look mighty as exposed. Yeah, the brood lords have nothing on the ground to support them. I mean, they can kill uh, here and there a few, few bio units, but. They cannot connect into the tanks, which is the real target. Very, very uh, adventurous liberator tries its way into a good enough position, but at least connecting. Yeah, these big links go try to. Yep, these big links go try to connect, but they're not going to be able to catch a whole lot. This That's army of uh, bear masters is incredibly stiff. He's so indecisive, going and out with a. The beaming army is not what you want to do, you need to either push the, uh, push the pedal to the metal or not go at all. Losing this base is fine-ish if you can really expand and you can, I'm, I'm fairly sure. But you need to muster up a bigger army and try to push it all the way through, otherwise it's basically useless. More banelings? Uh, no, not more banelings, more, uh, more broodlords. Oh, these cocoons are gonna get sniped! Oh are man! So in the red though, but we do have reinforcements now. We have boats, we have lots of marines now. Marauders, 140 army supply against 30. I don't think it gets worse than this for Zerg. Yeah, unless he lands money fungals, which on this overstimmed army would be devastating. Yeah, I mean, I'm fairly sure most marines are now about the age uh, like the damage from the front. It's not. It's not going to be dead. Yeah, but he's camping these eggs. Yeah. They do pop out with one fungal. The shoot money fungal, but it's not enough, and GG is called Bear Master, giving out G the first win.